Good Tuesday morning. I'm meteorologist Chris Gilson with a quick look at your forecast. The monsoon flow is back and it's going to pump in a lot of moisture today, giving us a good shot for some scattered storms in central and western New Mexico. And then folks in eastern New Mexico will get in on the action tomorrow and temperatures with the added moisture are going to be well below average, only climbing into the upper 70s today. We'll make it to a high temperature of 76 degrees. The rain chances will continue for Wednesday and Thursday. Good Tuesday morning. I'm meteorologist Chris Gilson with a quick look at your forecast. The monsoon flow is back and it's pumping in a lot of moisture. So we're going to see a lot of scattered storms later on this afternoon, lasting into the evening and possibly the overnight hours as well. Central and western New Mexico favored for today. Eastern New Mexico will get in on the action as we head into the middle and latter portion of the week. Temperatures well below average. Not too bad for this time of the year with that added moisture. Temperatures are going to be climbing only into lower 80s. Welcome back. It's 449 meteorologist Chris Gilson up early and for Kristen this morning and a busy day ahead for us, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a soggy one out there. Remember what the windshield wipers do? They wipe off no, the rain. I haven't used them for quite some time. Well, you're going to need them today and we're already seeing some heavy to moderate rain falling in southern and western New Mexico. We have flash flood watches posted for all the areas shaded in green. Now these flash flood watches don't only last for today, but also for tomorrow and even in some cases until Thursday evening. So we're talking about a lot of rain over the next several days and it's already active out there right now. Last night in Albuquerque, we had a few spotty showers, but it's pretty dry in the metro area up to Rio Rancho and also Santa Fe, but that will be changing as we head into later morning hours and even around lunchtime, we'll start seeing the showers and thunderstorms moving in to the metro, but check out to our south what's going on around Silver City and Socorro along Interstate 25. Some heavy to moderate rain falling where you're seeing the yellows. That's indicating some heavier rain. And then we also have some rain showers just to the north or south of Grant. So this activity is pushing from the south to the north and it will eventually fill in and move into the metro. And right now in Grants, you're getting ready for some moderate rain to move into your area. And that will be crossing Interstate 40 here in the next half hour or so. So it's going to be a rather soggy Tuesday. And again, this is only the beginning. Here's satellite and radar showing basically all the cloud cover in central and western New Mexico. The further east you go right now, things are pretty clear and dry this morning. Temperatures not too bad starting out in the upper 60s at 68 degrees here in the metro, 55 degrees in Las Vegas, 52 in Taos, 66 degrees in Roswell, and it's 69 in Carlsbad. And believe it or not, temperatures aren't going to be climbing that much at all. We'll only make it into the middle 70s here in the metro. Satellite and radar showing a lot of the activity still in Arizona, but this moisture is slowly pushing to the east and it will move into central New Mexico as we head into the afternoon hours. So we're going to see an uptick in shower and thunderstorm activity here in much of the state as we head into the afternoon. You can see that here on the forecast model where you're seeing the yellows and the greens pretty much overspreading a lot of central and western New Mexico. We have a low pressure system off to our west and a high pressure system off to our east. So that's pumping in just a lot of moisture and that's going to be the case not only for today but also for Wednesday and even Thursday and Friday. So eastern New Mexico will be getting in on the action as we head into the latter portion of the week. So here's Super Storm Track planning out the rest of your day. So we have those storms right now in southern and western New Mexico and you can see that here clearly 
where you're seeing the darker reds, oranges, and yellows. That's where we're going to have some heavy rain this morning. But then this is going to push to the north, northeast, and spread over central New Mexico and the central mountain chain by the lunchtime hour. And the activity is going to continue for the commute home from work. So be, take it easy if you do run into some heavy rain. And then by later on tonight, we're still going to have that activity lasting into the overnight hours tonight. And then when you're waking up on your Wednesday morning, it's possible that we could still see some showers and thunderstorms going across northeastern New Mexico for folks in Las Vegas and Tucumcari. So here's the extended forecast in southern Colorado for today. Check out these high temperatures only climbing into the low to mid 60s. 62 degrees in Pagosa Springs, 64 in Durango, 67 in Cortez with rain lasting throughout the week. In Farmington, you'll make it to 76, 72 in Gallup, 73 in Grants with heavy rain for today. And that chance for showers will continue for Wednesday and Thursday. In the southwest, temperatures climbing into the 70s, so a lot cooler, and you'll stay in the 70s in Silver City throughout the rest of the week. In the southeast, temperatures only climbing into the lower 80s in Roswell, middle 80s in Carlsbad, with a good shot for some storms. And then in the northeast, we'll have temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to the middle 80s in Tucumcari, with rain chances arriving later this evening. Over the northern mountains, we'll have that chance for some storms. A flash flood watch posted for parts of the northern mountains. And then in the East Mountains, temperatures climbing only into the 70s with a good shot for scattered storms. And that chance for storms will continue here in the metro as well. A 70% chance for rain in the metro. It's not too often that we say that. So this monsoon flow means some business this week, and it's pretty exciting.